welcome back to my channel. Now I am filming this and then I'm going to edit this probably tomorrow night because I get done at 8. So I'm going to review what I got from Toomey and I'm wearing something and I got it. It's PJs. I don't really like the buttons. I just like that it was silk. And this was the free gifts that I got from Toomey because they have that free gift campaign so I got two other sets and it's all silk, comes with shorts. Now I also got two pairs of exercise shorts because I'm starting to exercise again. I'm going on the seventh day of exercising for 30 minutes to an hour. So we got some stretchy extra large shorts. I mean like why not? And they're like they're breathable and they're like they I don't really want plain shorts so I got so these are shorts that are underneath and then it has this like wavy factor over it and I kind of love it. Got it in purple and like a peach, like a neon like coral peach color. I thought I was buying a suitcase. I really did. I just bought one off of Toomey. I thought I was buying a suitcase. I should have read better. I bought a suitcase cover. So I bought a suitcase with the same measurements so I can still put this to use. For the fact, read the description more. I usually do, but apparently I didn't that time. Oops. I got, let me show you. I got this thing from Toomey for free because this little one over there is not doing me any justice anymore so I got this giant one that one's gonna go under the sink in the bathroom but I'm gonna figure that all out when I can and the last thing I got from Toomey before we do the reaction video because I didn't have time to film this week because I'm going to my friend's house on Thursday and it's my birthday this Saturday which this video when it comes up on Sunday it'd be the Saturday before the Sunday August 12th. Anyway, I got this. Now, originally I got a camera, but I thought it was an Insta camera. And I apparently I had to download the footage and all this stuff. So, when we got, when I found the free gift thing, I was like, hey, that was the camera I was looking at before, and it's free. So, I got one. I can't get it out. Ta-da. Oh, almost dumped. There's a lot of stuff that came with it. Oh, hold on. I gotta go put my foot in the oven. Oh, you stinkered. PJs? PJs? Good job. Dorts. Thing that is no use right now. More PJs. freaked me out just now. What's your deal? Are you gonna blink? What? What do you want? What? You need a potty? I don't know what this dog is doing. Bottle cap? You're just staring at me. It's kind of it's kind of creepy, dude. It's just, just a little creepy, you know? It's creeping me out. Are you gonna blink? Probably not. Okay. Oh, I don't know why I didn't turn this off earlier. What? Okay, guys. It is time for the reaction. I am reaction to Sam and Colby's react channel, the scariest ghost story, the scariest ghost town in the world. Sorry, I can't read apparently. Anyways, I am doing it while it is storming out 
Yay! And it is like 10.47 p.m. So, without further ado, here we go. What's up, guys? It's Sam McCormick. Today, we're we'll reacting to the most terrifying ghost towns of all time. Let's get started. Pripyat, Ukraine was a closed... We've been here! Let's go, Chernobyl! ...the nearby Chernobyl nuclear power plant. By 1986, it had a population of nearly 50,000 right, residents. Not positive, of course, this was the site of the famous or infamous Chernobyl disaster. In Chernobyl, there was a massive radioactive nuclear explosion that was not supposed to happen, and so it literally made the entire town unlivable. I don't think it's ever going to be able to be a place where people can live again. We went in there, and we got radiation. You can actually only go in there with the supervision of a scientist and Geiger counters and everything like that, so... It's a pretty intense place even to this day. I remember it there! Remember <laughs> that exactly? Yes! Over here is their supermarket. There's the Ferris wheel. <laughs> this is nostalgic, man. Oh my god. We made it. This is the prize <laughs> of all ghost towns. We went back in 2021. 2021. Literally six months before the Ukraine-Russian war. We could have been the last YouTubers to film a documentary about Chernobyl. Probably, actually. We are going to be rating how much we would buy this ghost town for if we had to put a price tag on it. So how much would you pay for it? I think this one is priceless. Like, the Ukraine government wouldn't let you because it's like a piece of history. That's very true. So how much would you buy this town for? <laughs> oh, like $24? Alright, there we go. How much would you buy for? I feel like if I was like, ah, I got $10 billion. They'd be like, alright. Imagine also the tourism. You could buy the start of investment. We'd pay a fatty chunk to go in there. A fatty chunk. North Brother Island. I've never heard of this. Looks like one of our old videos. That's us, actually. This island, which is located on New York's East River, known as Riverside Hospital. It opened in 1885. It mainly housed people with diseases such as typhoid, with typhoid Mary Mallon being its most famous patient. <laughs> typhoid Mary? That's how that sucks. Or two, it was used to house wartime veterans. Oh, God, look at that girl in a mask. Just as a treatment center for adolescent drug addicts, the island has been abandoned and off limits to visitors. Ooh. That's actually sick, an abandoned island as well. Sanctuary. However, there is research in oh, areas. That looks so familiar. That looks like a place on the East Coast that we've been to. Yeah, I remember a Pennsylvania ghost town factory that looked like that. We climbed that silo. Oh, dude, that's definitely like an old Assassin's Creed town right there. That is sick. <laughs> Because you're not only buying the ghost town, but you're probably buying the rights to the island because it's the only thing on the island. So how much I did you buy really a private island? <laughs> Sorry, that was great. Island with a view. So you get a view, you get haunted. And it's in New York. And you get typhoid. You can hang out with typhoid Mary. Let's go this. I would Ooh. pay about 500,000 for this. 500,000? Yeah. You're not even going to get a small New York apartment for 500,000. Yeah, but you might be getting a typhoid hospital for that. True. I think probably five million. Five millions? Didn't Mr. Beast say that he bought an island for $750,000? Yeah, but that's Mr. Beast. We're trying to be Mr. Beast. We want to be you, Jimmy. And we just be we want Jimmy Donaldson. <laughs> Whoa. Helltown, Ohio. Founded in 1806, it's formerly called Boston. This place is the oldest village in Summit County. Helltown was the victim of disappearing forest land when President Ford let the National Park Jurisdiction expropriate land to make parks. The NPS I don't know what she's saying. Hogs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a park is. Hogs. What are pogs? The dump was highly toxic because chemicals were never disposed of properly. There's uh, also the, um, the issue of the... Um, Satanist church, it could be upside down crosses and all. Human and animal sacrifices even took place there. There is satanic rituals and animal sacrifices happening, and we have not heard of this. And there's pogs. What the fuck is a pog? <laughs> don't, <look it> up. <laughs> don't you dare look it up either. I see you type it away. There was even an escaped <laughs> mental patient in Hold the woods in the. I actually, I don't know why, but what? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Look. I'm gonna see what Pogs is. Cause I don't know either. Pogs. Pog. TV program. What the hell? It, no. I am removing that from everything. 
Okay, let's get back to the video. Town that kills a bus for children, children and that bus children. is still there, haunted by the ghosts murdered past. There's even a mutated snake in the town known as the Peninsula Python, oh so it's safe God. to say the town okay. lives... Wait, so there's a snake involved, and then there's a bunch of chemicals in some sort of a lake or whatever? I feel like this is just a death trap. Yeah, this is worse than true. I don't know if I would even want to buy this. I'd probably give it up for, you know, like 15 bucks. 15 bucks? If they didn't say no, I'm actually glad that they say no. Because I don't want to step foot in this place. It's so good. I'm scared of snakes. I would give it a hundred pesos. That's like a dollar, dude. <laughs> Is Romania. Romania! Germana turned into a ghost town in 1978. Germana. It was an ordinary Eastern European village. That looks awesome. I already wanted to go here. For the town's people, when copper reserves were discovered near the area in the late 1970s. Oh, recent. Mining produced waste, and it had to be disposed of. Residents of Jamana had to abandon their village so that there was enough room to dispose of waste. A few what? stubborn locals moved to the edges of the flood area and continued to live there. This is like the Simpsons movie. Have you seen that? Yes, dude. <laughs> they just dumped all their waste and now it's a freaking shit lake. Now there's like squirrels running around with like 400 eyes. Would you jump in the pool if you had a 50-50 shot? You'd either get a superpower or you could develop a disease. Would you do it? I'd probably do it. Yeah? <laughs> Chance you're gonna get fucking typhoid or something. Ah, I can beat cancer, beat typhoid, no big deal. Just add to the list. The water of the village turned into a toxic soup. That looks like carbon. You visit the area today. Oh. All you can see are submerged buildings. Oh, I don't want to go here anymore. The rooftops and the church steeple <laughs> are still visible in the poisonous Wait, water landscape. Wait, that's how deep it is? That's awesome, though. Your boat would disintegrate as you're going to the chat. <laughs> I thought that was going to be beautiful, <laughs> but then it turned out to be a lake of shit. It's probably smell, huh? How much would you buy that lake of shit for? Damn, I just don't know what I would do with a lake of shit. I'd buy two shits. That's it, two shits. I'd buy two shits. What would you buy? <laughs> like 45 cents, probably. 45 cents. If you're looking for a truly unique vacation experience, oh, you may want to direct your attention to the ghost town of Garnett, Montana. Garnett. It's a truly Garnett. unique vacation destination. And you might even need some otherworldly guests during your stay. Oh, it's haunted. It's considered to be the most intact ghost town in America. Most intact. Every That's year, good. the U.S. government accepts volunteers to live in the ghost town free of charge. There is a catch, however. The town is rumored to be one of the most haunted places in America. Wait, what? How have we not heard of this place? Once the sun goes down, though, the spirits awaken oh, God. and That's come out in full force. Unfortunately, you have to be okay dealing with no electricity, internet, or running No off. internet! That's a scary <laughs> Damn. Well, it looks still kind of nice. It's the most intact ghost town in America. So it's actually you're buying all these houses and the yeah. land. And there's no shit lake. Five million. Whoa, yeah. really? Five million? You're buying an island right off the coast of New York for only 500,000. But you'll buy five million in this random ass town in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I just like <laughs> Okay. This is Cerro Gordo. Cerro Gordo! And Renato Gordo actually place. does own it. Back in the 1870s, Rips. this was one of California's silver mining boom towns. We've been here multiple but now, times. It's one of the most infamous ghost towns in the West. Awesome. Two years ago, Underwood put up his life savings. Oh, and with the help of some investors, he bought the town for $1.4 million. He's planning to open it up as a tourist destination next year. 
What kind of place was this? It's dangerous. It's the Wild West. The police come out here. You know the reports on the newspapers were something like a murder a week. Murder a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you look at every single one of the buildings around here, from this one to the one we're sitting in, there's bullet holes in them. Oh, there's my bullet goodness. holes in them. Yeah, guys, especially in the American Hotel, which unfortunately burned down like two weeks before we went for the first time. There was a lot of death that occurred in Cerro Gordo, and if you guys have seen our past videos on it, the bunkhouse, which is where we've stayed multiple times, is extremely haunted, and I remember one of the lights was like turning on and off. Oh yeah. There. Dude, even our car doors were opening and closing. It's definitely very haunted, but it's also one of the most fun places I've ever been. You can golf, you can skeet shoot, you can run through all the mines, so this place is freaking sick. And Brent's got a lot of animals. He has like llamas and alpacas, a bunch of goats. He bought it for 1.4. I would want to make sure he got a fatty return on his investment. I'd go up to three now. Double his investment real quick. I'll do a 321. Oh! Sure <laughs> you are the one? Which one was your favorite ghost town of them all? I want to say Bodie. Really? Just because it reminds me of Cerro Gordo, and I just want to go to a place like Cerro Gordo. I would want to go back to some Chernobyl. Chernobyl? I love Chernobyl. I have a special place in my heart. Guys, if you want to see us go to any of these ghost towns, make sure to like this video. And we'll- For me, um, not sure. I forgot half the places. I want to go to the Northern Brother island i don't know why i don't know why anyways that's all for this week's video love you guys and i'm gonna go to bed now i'm gonna braid my hair and eat because i am very hungry and i work at 11 tomorrow i work 11 to 8 and then i gotta edit this but i see you guys